Experts say that looking after your social and environmental concerns assists in getting permits and attracting investors. Institutional investment is concerned with how you manage stakeholders and environmental sustainability. But there is a challenge. I also think that there is a, a need for resources to perhaps be placed more in the exploration aspects uh, when, when you're a junior rather than continuing with the engagement with the communities and the environment. But what we forget is that the community is ultimately who is going to validate your social license to operate. PwC recently released their annual global mining survey, which looked at the top 40 players that constitute 50% of global production. The issues are the same, regardless of size, but an interesting trend has developed. These companies are reporting on the um, social initiatives. Um, and they're now taking that next step to actually include that in bonus structures and so on. So, so we measure it, we might as well measure the performance of the individuals involved to it as well. The consequences of not doing things by the book are far-reaching. We now are required to report in the way of integrated reporting, which requires every company to have a very focused view of issues other than capital. Involving all stakeholders in discussions about environmental and community issues is essential. Mining companies can have a real impact on the communities in which they operate, a positive impact. Um, it's important that they deliver long-term sustainable value for all these stakeholders, and those stakeholders would include local communities. And they realise it, I believe, if they don't act accordingly, well, they, they will have um, negative impacts in the future. For the mining industry players, either the juniors or the more established conglomerates, it's all about making sure you're talking to the communities in which you operate, because they hold the final say on whether you can access that mine or not. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.